Welcome to Pharmachem Insights. In this video, you will get to know most commonly asked interview question and answers on chemistry which will help you in interview preparations for freshers in pharma industry. So let's get started. First question, what is the body temperature? Body temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. Next question, what is pH? pH is negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration expressed as pH is equal to minus log H plus. What is the scanning range of UV spectroscopy? The scanning range of UV spectroscopy is 200 to 400 nanometer. What is the scanning range for visible spectroscopy? The scanning range for visible spectroscopy is 400 to 800 nanometer. Next question, what is the use of UV spectroscopy? UV spectroscopy is used for qualitative as well as quantitative analysis. Qualitative to determine the absorption maxima of a compound that is lambda max. Quantitative to determine concentration using absorbance value. Next question, what is the difference between qualitative and quantitative analysis? So qualitative analysis involves the identification of the compound. Quantitative analysis involves the determination of concentration or amount of the chemical compounds. Next question. What is Beer-Lambert's law? Beer-Lambert's law is when a beam of monochromatic light passes through a transparent medium, the rate of decrease in intensity of light is directly proportional to the concentration of the absorbing medium and the path length of the cell. Next question. What is titration? A process in which a solution of known concentration is used to determine the solution of an unknown concentration is called titration. What are different types of titration? There are four types of titration. First is acid based titration. Second is complexometric titration. Third is redox titration. Fourth is precipitation titration. Next question. Define molarity. Molarity is number of grams molecular weight of solute present in 1 liter of solution. It is denoted with capital M. Next question. Define molality. Molality is number of moles of solute present in 1 kilogram of solvent. It is denoted with small m. Define normality. Normality is number of gram equivalent weight of solute present in 1 liter of solution. It is denoted with capital N. What is boiling point and melting point? The boiling point of a substance is the temperature at which the vapor pressure of a liquid equals the pressure surrounding the liquid and the liquid changes into vapor state. The melting point of a substance is the temperature at which it changes its state from solid to liquid. What is polarity? Polarity is the electronegative difference between the two atoms of a molecule. Example, water is a polar molecule due to the difference in the electronegativities between the oxygen atom and the hydrogen. In this case, oxygen atom is highly electronegative than the hydrogen. Next question. What is the principle of IR spectroscopy? Principle is when the frequency of the IR radiation is equal to the natural frequency of vibration, the molecule absorbs IR radiation and a peak is observed. What is the principle of HPLC? The principle is it is a chromatographic technique used to separate, identify and quantify components in a mixture by using solid stationary phase and a liquid mobile phase. Next question, what is buffer solution? A buffer solution is an aqueous solution of a mixture of a weak acid and its conjugate base or vice versa. It pH changes very little when a small amount of strong acid or base is added to it. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज केमिकल नेम ऑफ बेकिंग सोडा एंड वॉशिंग सोडा द केमिकल नेम ऑफ बेकिंग सोडा इज सोडियम हाइड्रोजन कार्बोनेट दैट इज एन एच सीओ थ्री एंड वॉशिंग सोडा इज सोडियम कार्बोनेट दैट इज एन एच टू सीओ थ्री नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हाउ टू कैलकुलेट रिटेंशन फैक्टर इन पेपर क्रोमोटोग्राफी रिटेंशन फैक्टर इट इज नथिंग बट आर एफ इज इक्वल टू डिस्टेंस ट्राइवल बाय सोल्यूट डिवाइडेड बाय डिस्टेंस ट्राइवल बाय सॉल्वेंट How to make diluted acid solution? For making diluted acid solution, always add acid to water for dilution because it produces less heat, and not water to acid because in this situation a large amount of heat is produced and the acid may splash. Thank you. Please like, share, and subscribe my videos, and also show your support in the comment section.